everyone so we are back for the first crystal of the year for 2023 and yes I found a magnificent crystal when I went down to Liverpool and within Liverpool there's a crystal shop and I was looking around for new crystals that I could use for within the videos and I came across the crystal Buddha Stone and I thought, oh, okay, this is a rare piece. I've not spoke about it in a video, so I thought it'd be good to speak about Buddha Stone. So it's a lovely green, dark green, silky texture colour. And it's similar coloured to the green jade crystal, but they both work in different ways. So the Buddha crystal is associated with the heart chakra so opening up the heart chakra it is connected to the elements of the earth so it's connecting you to the mother nature and the earth and the hardness of the crystal is 2.5 so it's about four so the hardness is such a delicate crystal so it's best cleansed with sage and sound and it is associated with also the crystal serpentine which I also have on me so the beautiful sun the serpentine which was also connects and activates the Kundalini energy so just like Buddha stone so Buddha stone can also be used to activate the Kundalini energy from the root chakra like serpentine and it helps to raise to raise it to the heart's level so it is most often used to increase the flow of energy throughout the body increasing your motivation to move forward with things in life so you can also use rose quartz and buddha stone together as they open up the heart chakra so you can work with them together during a meditation and it helps promote love allowing you to accept love and a trust in yourself so it also helps you to acknowledge your own emotions so removing any negative energies you can also use the crystal for working with clearing out any emotional pain and heal any emotional pain and trauma so it encourages you to take steps in healing these emotions one day at a time but please do have patience with yourself as these emotions don't go away straight away so give yourself a bit of strength and trust in yourself that it will take time and you'll feel better for it later so placing the crystal next to your bedside it releases any suppressed emotions through dreams so once awake the next day journal these emotions dreams can help you understand what the dream is about and it can also help you to understand the emotions that you are going through in your daily life so the more we understand our emotions the more we can stay balanced within our lives and stay protective of ourselves so it helps you to make positive decisions and actions and stay focused and help you to be a bit more organized within yourself and within your workplace it boosts your confidence level by making you feel more self-centered and self-sufficient teaches you to be a bit more patient with yourself and others not to rush into situations and to try not to be negative bring a bit more positiveness into your life so Buddha stone helps you to reconnect again with your belief many people don't like what you do how you how you go about things and again it's not about them it's about yourself so what you believe in what you feel is best for you you go with that don't let others steer you away from what you believe in. If you would like to continue with something and they don't like it, 
I would say just best not to listen to them because it, it, then it's bringing the, those negative emotions back and you don't want that. You, you want to feel those positive emotions and you want to believe in yourself. And it's not about them, it's about you. So it's important to make it about you. So when during meditation, you can also connect with your ancestors, helping you to listen to your inner voice, clearing your mind, and remind you of any ideas that you've lost, you can bring them back and bring them back to reality. And then you could also, during the meditation, can hold the crystal and let it work on these emotions that you are struggling with. And then it will help you to move forward. So the Buddha stone represents new growth and fresh start. It signifies a new beginning or a new relationship or a project. So you can call upon Archangel Maria when working with the Buddha stone during the meditation. As you call upon this angel, this angel is a known of gentle emotions, helps you to let go of any unwanted emotions, helping you to move forward. And also you can call upon the spirit animal, the tiger. The tiger is a symbol of strengthening your emotions and trusting your, in your intuition. The tiger gives you courage and it's a strong, strong animal character. So call in your tiger to help you strengthen your emotions and keeping you balanced. So thank you everyone for joining me today for the Crystal Buddha Stone. Stay tuned for more videos, subscribe to those beautiful butterfly wings. Don't forget to like. Thank you. Goodbye.